I'm going to share my display. Uh, just so you guys know, we're doing a coaching with JC. Uh, JC is a very good Tremere player. Plays for the, like, he's challenger on the Oceanic server. Uh, however, like, I am the AP Tremere master. And uh, he wants to learn more about the AP build. That way he can apply it better in his games. Alright, so here, uh, you can clearly see, um, I'm on Discord with JC, I'm sharing screen. Uh, we're going to be going over a replay of his where he plays against Jace with the AP build. And we're going to see how he does. Wait, did Jace start corrupting pot? It even they normally start... start yeah, they normally start Dorans. Damn. Like, I feel like that's even less punishing. But, uh, let's see how he does it. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Alright, so I'm gonna put on just blue side. Alright, so I mean, that's typically where I stand too. Although, if your Leeson walks up here, um, you should walk with him just like in case they look to ward that you can take out the ward. Because if you kill ward level 1, uh, you get level 2 off the first wave of minions. Especially against something like Jace, it could help you out. Minions have uh, the one thing I have to say is my very first death is completely preventable. Uh, I imagine it is. Uh, they usually are. Pretty much every death is preventable, if you think about it. But it was mainly because I can't control my character at one point. It was only at the very first death. That was bad. Literally just lagging out. I mean, I guess it's okay since the Lee Sin's like, well, too ganking. I feel like since uh, you did get that um, that early gank, what you could have done, uh, still use your, your pots early, but you can push for level 2 right here and like look to spin on him. So, like, you can get level 2 before the Jace, I think. Like, if you push for it. And you still got Lee Sin hanging around if he wants to. But if you choose to let the minions die at the same time, you don't get level 2 first. You need to just play back. You know, if you guys get level 2 at the same time, you uh, can't let the goblin. Yeah, what's up? What do you say? And oh, we got it at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. So, just play back. Uh, you have HP. Just go ahead and don't be conservative with your potions. So, just go ahead and use your potion. Like, you're low. I mean, you're not going to heal up your full HP bar with just your Q. Um, I mean, just use your health potion. decent. What you should do here, uh, you know that he's for sure gonna TP. Uh, honestly, like, Lee Sin camping, uh, Jace before, like, you get, like, level 4. It's kind of useless. Because, like, the games aren't gonna work out too well. Uh, so you, your jungler is a little bit, uh, questionable. Wait, the dude actually stayed? What the hell? Okay, I mean, if he stays, then he for sure stay. It looks like he's pushing it in. Uh, make a pretty bad choice here. Oh, uh, so you're gonna try to freeze it? Is that what you're gonna do? Because you uh, shouldn't. I don't think you should freeze here. Because he has TP. You don't have TP. Yeah, like, like you TPing. Like, are you freezing? Will force his TP, but then you still get fucked, right? Yeah, I mean this is pretty aggressive. You went for the E flash, right? I should have. Nah, um. I mean, because he has no flash, right? But, 
I E flash and cancel his back, I think he'll just knock me away. Yeah, that's true. And so you said you lagged here? It was bad. Uh, yeah, but like leading up to this step, I was my ping was just spiking. Walked yeah. up way too far. Damn, have you actually died a corrupting pot? Or maybe a scorch. He does uh, probably scorch. But damn. It just goes downhill from here, and I I think my main thing is uh, if I fall behind. I could, I don't know. This guy's like really really good apparently, and. I mean he he's not good because he's sort of fucking corrupting pot. And like, I meant I meant as in the player itself apparently is like you know top of the ladder, but. So I, if I, I mean. Up, wait. <laughs> I don't know. This is uh. That's that's an NAJ basically, man. So I just wanted to know like what would be the best way to come back from it, and I think what I've done is not the right way. All right, man. Let's, let's take a look. So yeah, amp tome refill. That's the correct way to go. Honestly, it just look at the replay. You got baited a little bit by your Lee Sin to play aggressively in a Jace. Usually, especially since since this guy started corrupting Potman, like you just sit back and farm, and like you just stay even, and then you like you just gradually outscale. I think got baited by Lee Sin a little bit to play a little bit too aggressively. Like otherwise, you would have never made a mistake like this. Yep, so GFP. This is like a it's slow pushing into him. Yep, nope, that's fine. You, uh, what you need to do. So, if, if your wave is kind of like messed up like this, and you want it to start pushing back towards you because, uh, you know, obviously you don't want it to freeze to him, he's got a level advantage with the wave pushing towards him, it's a very bad spot. Uh, what I usually do. In situations like this, and I think you kind of do it. I don't know if you did it intentionally, but um, yeah, let him like engage sit, on me. But then sit, sit get inside away. your wave. That way, if he does a trade with you, the AOE of like uh, his combo will just take out your wave and have it push back to you. And that's like the best thing you could do here. So I like, get the minion like sit within like your whole minion wave. That way, if he wants to trade into you, uh, he's either auto attacking and pulling, making like your wave attack him. Since you have a lot of range minions in the cannon, it's gonna deal some damage to him. Or like if he combos, then he's gonna basically take out your back line. So I think you kind of do that here, and that's actually very good. Like right, now, the wave is gonna push back towards you. You accomplish your goal. Now, sit back. I would use a refill pot. And use... You have zero fury. Oh, okay. Never mind. You did use a replay error. Yeah, if you have zero fury, Q's up, just spam it. So, in this spot, you got a ward, right? Oh, well, actually, you see Ramus bottom, so you're fine. Blue team. Yeah, I would put it behind me if I didn't see Ramus. But this, this minion is not good to go for. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, so what, what you need to do, you got a big wave pushing in you. You're not level 6 yet. In fact, you're pretty far from it. You need to, one, use a refill pot. And don't go for greedy CS like this. Soak this CS of VXP. Let the wave crash all the way in. And then get the CS under turret. So like going for this yes and taking this big trade, really bad. You got the big wave crashing in, let the wave crash, then get the CS. If if you don't I take agree. that trade here, he can't all in you. And he can't like uh he can't deny you this wave. Because it's so important right now 
that you try to catch up in the XP. So, if the, the physical number of the XP, you probably won't catch up unless, like, he roams or something. But what will happen is that, like, it requires more EXP points per level to get to the next level. Uh, so, even, like, if, say, you'll probably catch up at level 7 if you played it correctly. Like, you'll just hit 7, he'll be almost level 8. But after, for a short period of time, you'll be the same, the same level, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what you're playing for. Yeah. Just try to catch up in, uh, in level. Even if they, the actual EXP is, like, he's still ahead. So yeah, like, this not only goes for something like Jace, uh, this goes for, like, basically any matchup that can look to all in you. Uh, so like Riven, uh, you know, all the, all the bullies you're thinking of. Like, shit, even, uh, you know, like Renekton especially, like, let it crash in. Especially if Renekton's level 6 on you, you gotta, like, like soak EXP, maybe get zoned off turret a little bit, call for your jungler. So, from this spot, like, you're in, you're in a pretty rough one. So, again, I would, I would shove this out. I would, uh... I would actually shove this out as, as fast as possible. Because he's gonna be able to freeze it no matter what, right? Like you can't you can't stop him from freezing it. So what you can do, like shove it as fast as yeah. possible, that way you get all this CS for free. And then you let him freeze the next wave. Uh you'll get six off this wave. If I'm knowing my numbers right. Yeah. So you get six off the wave. So, I mean, he basically did what I told him, right? I was thinking. So, PXP. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, like, this chase was probably getting very poorly. He could have punched you way harder, but, uh... Hey man, we'll take it. I'm differently. So like, I don't know if you have this Lee Sin in your games a lot. Um, but like, he, he should be like early game from you. Like, that's like, the first time I've seen him. Snow on this matchup again. Like, look at the wave. Like, it's pushing in you. He just like, went greedy for CS. And you take this big chunk of damage as the wave is crushing in. So now, you can't contest this wave or he dies you. But, if you let it crash in first, then you can at least get the XP. Uh, maybe hold him back from uh, getting the turret for a little bit longer. Wait, you actually burned his flash? I guess you tried to burst you. Catch you off guard. So yeah, that's like the number one mistake I see you making over and over. Like, the Jace is already pushing in you. You got you got the wave there, just be just be more patient. Like once you've already been set behind like this. And like, to be honest, like Lee Sin goes for this level two gank. Maybe maybe I use that just to like, you know, absorb, you know, get some pressure from Lane, get some free CS. But you really can't kill the Jace level too. Hey, that's the shutdown. That's our way back to uh, to winning this game. Just so you know, I didn't take a look at the score to see how this game ends up, so we'll see. See it last thirty-four minutes. It's actually so good he got that shut down. How much gold is that? 600 gold? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's right here. You don't have enough for uh, Nashers, not yet. Probably get a Stinger and Ampton. Or maybe you can get Tabbies too. I don't know if you have enough. Mm. 
Wait, you probably don't even want Tabby's Concept Team. They have Lux, Varus, Fiddlesticks, Ramus. Yeah, you probably... I don't know. Just so that I could actually not get one shot by him. Yeah, that's at this true. point, I was going behind. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's a tough decision, man. Cause like, mm, yeah, I I guess like the early tabbies is fine. Berg treads this game, but then after how the lane went, I went for tabbies. Yeah, I th I think instead of upgrading to tabbies like right now, I think you could just get another amp tome and like hold on to that decision for later, cause you did just get the shutdown. Uh, I don't think with the tabbies by that you're going to be killing Jace because you got tabbies. Uh, Jace has to way overextend for his turret. Maybe just get the extra damage from the amp tome. Uh, you know, maybe help out your Lee Sin on a, on a, like, you can just like 2v1 him. Is this probably pretty easy to set up, especially since Jace has no flash. Team's turret has been mm, hey, they're doing your work for you. Did really well this game. Like, my team. Oh, you don't need a back here. Just keep pushing. I mean, Jace is dead, right? I'm actually not sure why I backed here. Oh, I mean, are you going bottom? I guess that's okay. On their way. Yeah, Can yeah. you swap him? Uh, that's why. Why are you guys swapping? I guess they just want this turret? I guess, I mean, I guess Lucian is 7-0. Uh, wave is slow pushing towards you, take Krux on the way to lane. Always, always, always. Wave, slow pushing towards you, you got time, take Krugs on the way to lane. It's just a free, like, 200, 250 gold, plus all that EXP. And, like, you lose basically nothing for it since the wave is slow pushing. So I think like you got you got to be in the mindset you're gaining as much gold as much exp you know as quickly as possible. But when you see the whole of the enemy team on the other side of the map, don't you want to get out that pressure asap? I'm work. Number one thing, resources. I I don't care about like one. I don't think there's anyone on their team that you really pressure yet. Uh, just because like you haven't even hit your Nash spike. Alright, just get as much gold as possible, man. So, like, yeah, you skip you skip Krugs, and you push out this lane, but you're not getting this turret, are you? Probably too risky. Exactly. So, you might as well have taken Krugs. It's all about getting as much gold and... Oh. As much gold and EXP <laughs> as fast as possible. You know what I mean? So, maybe you take Krugs here, right? I mean, this is too far for you to be extended, probably. Oh, I mean, we saw Ramus go top, it's fine. Nice all in. I'm still not convinced on the tabby scar. Oh, yeah, he flashed there. Uh, you misclicked that plant for a second and got nervous for you, man. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Alright, resources top. You're going for that, right? Better be. I mean. I know the solution seven and zero, oh, man, but like or eight and one. But you went for it first, so uh, it wouldn't be a point. Yeah, yeah. Right, he already took the wave. It's fine. Hold mm, in five seconds. Yeah, just wait for Lee. I'm not going in that. Oh, 
Alright, let's see this decision. I mean, as soon as you see this, man, like, you need to back off. Like, your first thought was to try to help Lee Sin. That's not good. It's a 4v2 and you're behind. Yeah, I, I don't like this, like, you go and help him at all. Like, you should have instantly left, man. Because you hesitated on the decision, that's why you died. Also, I think I would, even though you got a turret here, it's really not there at the same time. Maybe try getting to your Braum. Because he's got ult. I'm like, if you had run a Braum, you could have W'd in and ulted, and then you queued after your ult ends, so maybe you get out. So, you know, you know, it's gonna be pretty rough, but maybe it could save you. Hey man, it's like <laughs> I know. Yeah. Every time I, I'm, I'm just gonna see this, you're, you're gonna be regretting buying tabbies, man. Like, I don't think you've looked to duel this Jace once since buying it, so like, it's it's just not worth it. I think my mindset was to survive him rather than to kill him. No, 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 no. It's, like your your boots purchase is going to be like looking to, like, setting yourself up best to duel and, like, survive their team. So, like, when you scale, you're going to be able to beat this Jace 1v1 no matter what boots you get. It's all about, like, looking to see what boots you need to 1v2 so you can survive the, the Ramus plus Jace or something. Just being traumatized by those, um, I guess those lethality builds that just one-shot me. If I don't go for some armor, I just get one shot before I could react to all. Merc Treads, Zanya. There you go. That's your answer. What the? I feel like you should just run into him, man. That way, uh, he doesn't get away. Mmm, <coughs> creeps it, creeps up me. Hey man, what am I gonna tell you here? I know... Alright, if you, when, once you back off, once you rise, it's not a good play. Look at the map! Should I go here? Where the, the lanes are already slow pushing, and where it's already pushing into the enemy turret? Or should I go here, where it's a much larger mini wave, and it's crashing in towards us? Macro wise, you should always choose the wave with the bigger amount of minions. I know you want to press your bot side opposite of Baron. It's getting close to 20 minutes where Baron's spawning, but like, you need resources. Like, you got pretty heavily denied by Jace because like the lane phase got fucked up. Like, you need to go, like, where the resources are, man. So, like, the, this rotation gets you nothing. So, like, I you feel even, like you I was on autopilot what... at this point. Yeah, it's just like, you don't even know what you're doing, man. Like, just know you went, you, like, to rotate to here, you went, to, you know, just wasting about... Is this the flank now? Like, no fury in behind? I mean, I, I, you just did a fucking circle. <laughs> it's like, 
I don't know. This was a really bad game for me, but your 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 best option always, always, always on Trinmere. The reason why me and like uh, you know every Trinmere ever gets like big advantages, and why here I'm gonna show you some stats. All right, so here let me just share my my uh, display for a second. Is this it? I see it, right? All right. Let's look up uh, Trindamir. Top lane. Gold earned. He's, he's the second most gold earner. Guess who's number one? Gangplank. Trindamir earns the most gold because he's the most mobile. He gets to he gets to the wave faster. He takes a bunch of jungle camps. He earns the most gold in the game. Like, when I see you not prioritizing, uh, like, getting these waves, it hurts me, man. Like, instead, yeah, instead, this is something that... you're, you're, like, I, I know this is probably just, like, a, like, a bad game from you, you usually don't do oh. this, but, like, mm, that's, like, that's, like, a really rough mistake, and, like, something you definitely need to get out of your game. Like, number yeah, one true. priority, always resources. Always to get yourself stronger. Like, everything else is kind of like... I don't know. It's like secondary. Cause this is like something like a, like a, a plat player, you know, would, uh, would do like the same thing as you. It's like running around the head cut off. You need to be like exactly. beelining resource 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 once the resources are gone you know you've run it down a lane like you went top you ran it down a lane say jay shows up you can't beat his ass because he's you know still so strong then you can like look to you know make a run make that play even if you got a quadra kill here i would tell you to go top it's the more consistent play exactly I mean, you already know, man. Uh, these things I do know, it's just that... I tilt really easily, I don't know. But, like, not in a toxic way. Yeah, it's just like... Like, you see yourself make a mistake, and... Okay, so... Yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate myself. Kinda... Well, not hate myself, but... Yeah, so... Let's go back. Where's the play where we run on Ramus? Kinda feel right? Here. Actually, you know what? I should have questioned your first decision to walk mid. Go top. Like, as soon as you got in base. Right here. So you backed after dragon and you went base. Like, this is where you should have made your decision to go top. Bots pushing in. Your team's here to defend mid. But they don't need you to like. Does Trigmir provide wave clear? Like in a in a siege situation, no. He kind of just stands there and prevents a dive. But like, I mean, you got Braum fan to dive, and you got a fed as Lucian that that they have to be worried about. Bots pushing in, so you're not going to go here. Mid, they got it. You should just go top. Like from the get go, I think you were thinking about going top, but then you got caught up in the in the fiesta, and you just went mid. So let's count. How many? How many? How much time did you waste knocking resources? So, eighteen thirty-one. I'm gonna count it as soon as you decide to go mid, which is right now, eighteen thirty-four. Count how much time you waste. You didn't even get an assist on this kill. So, and then here's the, here's the part where you do your little circle. Oh no, I don't want to watch this again. Oh <laughs> uh, man, we're watching it again. I mean, at least you got that Claw Dragon. <laughs> at least you're doing the circle extra fast. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I actually don't want to do that. And then you go back to base. 
No. I mean, you spent a full minute so far without getting any resources, just running around the map. I think you got a ward, actually. So you got one CS, because you got that ward. You got a kill, also use both sums. The question is, does do these kills net an objective? Potentially. Kill a mid talent. Mm. So you got to kill and assist, and use both sums, in about two minutes of your time. Where you probably could just shove this out. Uh, someone would have had to cover bottom. And maybe you could have gone top turret too. Or like, maybe you force Jace away. And then maybe well, your team can win dead. a fight. Oh yeah, your hunts are dead here. But uh... Yeah, I mean, that's no mercs. <laughs> every, time, every time we die, I'm gonna remind, remind yourself that you don't have uh... You don't have merc treads. Yeah, armor and just went for merc treads. Yeah. That cloth armor could have gone towards Zanya. So you could have gone for Tread Zanya. You'll buy like Seekers after Lich Ping. Yeah. So you got your 45% CDR at 21 minutes. That's bad, man. Alright, so instead of getting this bot wave and like pushing this out, you know, doing Trigmere things, what are we doing? Team We're joining team fights. Does it look like they need you? I don't think so. I don't know, it looks like they handle themselves pretty well. Oh, and again, we're going to the, the wave that's like already pushing all the way. That doesn't make any sense. We could just push this out, right? Put ourselves on the bottom side of the map. Uh, push out this wave, get Krugs, push out another wave. Push, put herself on the bottom side of the map so your team can pressure something like Baron. You know, it's just like, I see you making all these weird-ass moves, man. He's definitely really out of it this game. I feel like, I feel like you could just be pushing out top still. I think at this point, like, you just sit in a lane, push it out. Uh, I feel bad, because, like, this whole bot wave, like, it's stacking really nicely, but, it's like, think about how many minions that your, your team as a whole didn't get, because you didn't go bottom and push this out. Like, you, your team's probably, in total, losing about seven waves. Worth a golden EXP because no one did that. The minions like naturally did that by themselves, right? Shut down. I think a lot of my decision making stemmed from me playing on my diamond account earlier, and what happened was when I did go for the split push, my team actually just loses. So I'm so on edge on trying to join team fights after that. Hey man, did play me your a lot. decisions? should never be made by the, the the quality of your teammates. The the things that should determine whether you join team fights, like think think about the team compositions that counter split pushing. Can you think of the two? Globals? And it right? is mm, I mean in a sense like that's like kind of like global pressure. Like that's kind of the same thing. But the second is hard engage. 
Because if you're splitting and the enemy team has hard engage like Malphite or something, you know, I'm just I'm thinking most common hard engage champ, they have like a Malphite Yasuo comp. And they're able to like 5v4 your team because they're, they're able to like hard engage while you're splitting. The, the thing that determines whether you keep splitting, are you in a position to pressure an objective before your, the enemy team hard engages? If you're like right here on the map, you're pushing out, you're against a hard engage comp, and uh, the hard engage comp is like pushing on your inhib, and they're like right here already, ready to go, you can't be here. You gotta be close to your team, protecting them, like being able to counter, uh, go in uh, to counter the hard engage. Or, like, you need to already be pushed right here. Be ready to pressure objective. Have your team, like, try to counter dive as best possible. And play from there. But it should never be that your decisions are made just by the quality of your teammates. Like, if that, if that happened, like, you'd be making a bunch of weird-ass decisions playing in fucking silver. Right? Because, like, oh, dude, my teammates are fucking bad. I have to join them, right? Like, they will never listen. They don't know how to work with the split push. You see what I mean? Like, uh, th th you should take that out of your mindset completely. You should take information as is. And, like, always work with that. Like, if your teammates fuck up, I mean, that can happen. Say, like, uh, say you're in a position of pressure. They got that hard engage comp. And the team just, like, actually, like, it's rolled over. But then, yeah, just go ahead and back and, like, try to, like, save the game. But hopefully, like, also, like, if they're in a hard engage comp like that and your team is really behind, maybe you're forced to group a little bit, too. But, like, the, the things you need to, to think about are, are the actual quantifiable, like, things. Not about how bad your, your teammates are, but, um, like, how much gold does your team have, right? Like, if your team's, like, 10 gate gold behind, but you're ahead, and they, like, 5v4 mid, like, you probably need to be there, or else they'll be able to hard gauge. And you can't split. Like, unless you're able to split and pressure before the enemy team can hard engage. Just like, stuff like that is what you should do. Red team has slain So, I'm finally seeing you in a good spot to pressure. But, like, you're really down on CS, you only have 152. Like, even though you fell behind against Jace in laning phase, you didn't face off against Jace in the 1v1 for a long time. So, like, you should have been able to catch up, like, taking Krugs, pushing out lanes. But instead, you, like, you wasted about four or five minutes of premier farming time and catching back up in the game so you can have an impact on just, like, roaming around, like, pressing W for your team. You're basically a W bot. Hey, JC, uh, uh, while I'm going through the rest of this replay, you said earlier you played a diamond game on your diamond account, where, like, your teammates just didn't know how to work with your split? I think I played, like, a lot of games, and it's just, like, I was pretty tilted from that. But do you, do you have a like particular a specific... game in mind? Because I, I, I can show you what you what to do, in the games where like your team doesn't work with your split very well, and it'd probably be very informative for my audience too. For it. So like, try to think of one of the games you have in mind, and like, send me one of those from an email, and we'll look over that too. Well, I mean, you got some good pressure. Yeah, so like, you're looking at bot wave now, right? 
Please tell me it looked... Oh, oh. I feel like <laughs> you're about to join that... Oh, uh, oh. Got the Krog drop too. Not like this. Not like this. No, man. Get the farm. Plus, like, they have Baron, right? Another reason why you want to go for the farm is so that the enemy team doesn't rotate on this huge-ass wave and Baron all these minions up. That's another reason why you should get it. Ah! Uh, not like this. Feels bad. So, I mean, you're gonna get the wave now, right? There, there's no reason for you to back. The reason why there's no reason for you to more. back, you can go get this wave and you can Q-heal up off of it. And, number two, you don't have ult for, what, how many seconds? 45 seconds. So, you can't team fight for 45 seconds. You're totally useless. You need to go get this, get this wave. <coughs> like, and you have tabbies against that comp. It's like a nightmare for you to join it ever. Like, basically, you absorb like, what? How much? How much do you? Have? You absorb seventeen hundred HP for your team. You press R. You're useless for five seconds, and that's it. Oh man, the uh, this Lee Sin got it. You guys. Oh no. Oh no. There's just so many times, like in this game alone, where like you're forfeiting waves of exp and gold for random ass team fights. Like no, like team fights that didn't even net an objective by joining it. Like you're gonna be way more effective. Like the the thing you should be thinking about like, if you fall behind a trend, like in your team was so far ahead, right? Like, use your team's lead to help you catch up in the game. That way you can have an impact, too. Blue team's or else you're just going to be a W bot like this game. I think at this point, I was, like, really wanting to go to pop. But at the same time, I think they can end. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like... I mean, there's... Yeah. I feel like you, you could have had 270 CS at this point, and you could have been able to start forcing 1v1s with Jace, but you never, you never could get to that point. They have a very good siege comp with, uh, like, Fiddlesticks, Pogue, Varus, Lux, Jace, and it's all, like, frontline with Ramus, but you can never really force to counter their comp by splitting, because you never got golden experience to beat him up. Like, what level were you? You're level 13, Jace is level 17. And yeah, this was definitely a really bad game for me. Like, that's part of the reason why I was so shy about it. Ah. Man, we're all here to learn. And like, like the, the better players that I coach, like a good of a player is you, like the more that everyone can learn them. And like, I'm sure like from just like looking at yourself play, like you're seeing these mistakes and like next time you run into a situation, you'll know what to do. Exactly. All right, just get the farm, get the resources, catch back up, man. Hmm. 
right now I feel like it's gone to a point where you're kind of forced to group. And you just don't have the items. I mean, I guess you got, I mean, you got three items. So you deal, like, a little bit. Plus you get some points in your W, which is good. Once you get max rank W, you'll be, that'll be really effective, but... Still no Merc Tread feels bad, man. I feel like by this point you should have switched. Uh, if you get caught up at Lux Find, look to just R first and then Q. The reason why you Q before ulting is um, if you know you can extend um, your life by at least three seconds. Because your Q has uh, at least two seconds, I would say. Your Q has 6.6 .6 second cooldown. You need to live at least 1.6 seconds, you know, to be able to use it again, right? I feel like you had to ult basically instantly. There we go. I changed my boots. Oh my gosh, a 30 minute, 31 minute Murtreads. You learned. Well, I could have. Bored. Just, just, just think about all the Ramus taunts and fiddle fears you've gone through, man. Not to mention Lux Keys. Like, their team has, like, the longest CC chain in the world. Alright, here's what you do. Like, you've got a really nice situation going. Like, you've got all lanes pushing out. Well, not top. I think top's maybe going to push back to you. Anyways, you got mid pushed out. You got bot slow pushing a big wave. Uh, your team needs to look for Baron here. And force it. Yep. If they contest, you back off. Perfect. And you just wait for this bot wave. I, I would I would say your team shouldn't back here. They should look to try to use this bot wave. Or something. Because someone's got to get that, right? Uh, I think you guys backed off that Baron too easily. You should have, like, stayed around it and kept contesting. Oh, no, you're back in... Oh, man. I believe that bot wave. Uh, you guys should try to use that to try to force Baron. Mm, well, hey, just get pushed off now. Fuck this Baron. I mean, that's gonna get in hip turret for sure. And like, I mean, you're basically out of the fight. All right, yeah, that's a good call. Nice. That's good macro. And then your team 4v5. Okay. Well. It's gaming. <laughs> All right. We learned we learned a lot of things, and you got your LP still. I'm so worth. You know, the funny thing was after this game, like a day later, I played another game on this account, and it was another Jace. Did you play better? Did you learn from your mistake uh, or what? Somewhat, somewhat. Somewhat. Played right, a lot man. better in the second one. I think I was just so tilted from the lag. Yeah, I feel you, man. Alright, uh... I did want to go over that, like, one of your diamond games where you ran, like, you had a team that just didn't know how to react to your split. Because, uh, like, that'd be a good a example. A lot of those games, so I actually don't know, like, right off the top of my head which one. Like, it's just a blur to me at the moment. Uh, link me or PGG. I'll take a look. Alright, you can still hear me? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Yeah, sometimes Discord bugs out, and uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me once I shared sound.
uh, much of this game. So you think the, the Kassim mid matchup is easy? I wanna see how the Kassim plays it, see if I'm curious. Wait, she just... She flash ignited to... I mean, I guess she got first blood. <coughs> I mean, she flash ignited. Uh, eh, probably not worth. Alright, good word. I mean, your main opponent already has, like, got chunked from the level 1. Very good. Jesus. I mean, everything's looking pretty standard so far. Oh, replay doesn't have a timeline bar. Oh, it does. I'd take it off, just so it doesn't spoil oh. anything. Mm, codex and dagger. Alright, perfect. Yeah, like if I'm like this far ahead, I don't even bother if we full. <coughs> I mean, you're gonna get to your uh, your infinite dashes before uh, you're casting well. Honestly, I mean, pushing it in and getting an extra dagger is pretty good, but I don't know. I feel like you could have froze it even after the all-in. Let me double check. Yeah, I think you could have froze it here. So just like pull the wave over and like if you want to like because you want to keep cast it in, have it be far up in the lane, right? Like that's your ultimate objective, and like you're you're definitely gonna hit six before him, uh, because you got the early kill and deny him some exp. So I think you could just like walked up and froze the wave. This is okay too, but mm, I don't know. I guess both is fine. I see still denied some exp. But they're not more if I froze. The the thing is like. Oh, and you're roaming too? I don't know. I feel like you stay in lane and you get a free kill because you're six before casting and you could just run him down, right? That that's that's kind of the play I'm looking for. <coughs> Cause you know casting's not six and he doesn't have flash and you're all six and you can all win him. And I'm a big fan of like you got the roam off, so you got a kill, right? I'll push it in. No, keep this frozen, because that's very good for your bot lane. But, like, if you're going to make a roam play, you need to make sure you have mid shoved in first. 
But I always say, like, shove, shove the lane before you run. Because, like, you got the kill. You're not soaking EXP. And you just missed out on all this EXP mid. So, let's, let's do a comparison in terms of EXP. The wave was even, right? So, I'm going to do it from these six minions, right? So, let's look at his EXP now. So, he's like five and a quarter. You're six and a third, I would say. Now, let's take a look at the EXP differential from what he pushed in and got and from what you got. Because EXP is like the number one like thing you want to be progressing and getting as much EXP as possible. You got like you went from like I want that's probably a little more than a third. He probably went to half, right? And he was at like five and a quarter. Now he's you know at at six. So he got three quarters of, of a level, you got uh, uh, if maybe a quarter, probably less. And I think you got the kill bottom, but I think you also had a kill for yourself mid. And like, you need to use the fact that like, he had no flash, you won't have flash when you had your level six power spike, and you wanna like, take that free kill on Kassim again. And then you also get more EXP because you stayed in lane, you got all that lane EXP. If you're gonna go for a roam, it's it's because like you already pushed in mid and there's nothing doing mid. Like you can't trade, you can't kill him. So like that's kind of how you're you're looking to play. You don't just roam just because. Oh no. Alright, so let's talk about this play. So, the idea is like, you're gonna go help your jungle because your jungle got invaded, right? Alright, so you chill in mid. You look for a plan casting, you don't get it. Fiddle goes for help. That's a full HP Lee Sin, and this guy can't help you. Your bot lane's in a struggle, too. If this Kassin wanted, this Kassin could have, like, left this lane frozen. And, like, denied you so much EXP. Let's say he pushed it in, which still denies EXP. I'm like, you go for this, like, extended, like, chase onto Lee Sin. I, I don't like it. I, I feel like you're, you're too eager to roam. And this is, like, the exact kind of gameplay that I just saw on that Challenger game, right? Yeah, so, exactly. So here's what happened. You play in these games, you play in Diamond, and then, I mean, you're playing the same way in both cases, on your Challenger account and Diamond. Like, look, focus on your lane. Like, just know, you have that humongous lead on Kassin, right? But now you're even in CS... And he's about to equalize some levels, too. Okay, I mean, he's within, like, you know, probably two times of the level. You're just losing so much EXP mid, man. So, like, if it was you, you would stay mid and just ignore that invade, right? Exactly. And if I'm going for the invade, what's the number one thing that you do? You push the lane before you roam. So, like, before you go help out and, like, try to save this fiddle's blue buff, push the lane in all the way. So, like, if you're going to help with that fiddle... Oh. <coughs> 
before you help this fiddle, push the lane all the way in. So push this next wave in, then go help him. There are two things this does. One, you don't get fucked in the XP. Number two, Kasten can't follow because he's stuck dealing with these waves. Your bot lane, they got cop in a, in, in a 2v2, which they ended up losing, unfortunately. So they couldn't help. Maybe Morgana could have walked up here, but I mean, she's too focused on, like, they just have the 2v2. So just push the lane before you run. Think about it this way. If if you just go and help the fiddle and leave the, leave the wave like this, who is that helping? That's not helping you, is it? That's helping the fiddlesticks, right? Always help yourself. Your Trinomir is a greedy champion. Your your playstyle is greedy. Uh, the champion itself is greedy. Like it requires yourself to uh, take as many resources as possible. That's why, like top lane, I'm taking my jungler's krugs all the time. Like I see, I, be, I see big side waves building up. I take that for my team. 100% of the time. Trinmir needs gold, needs experience in order to like be successful. Trinmir does best when he's ahead in gold and EXP. Like, more so than other champions, like being ahead in gold and EXP. Like, he's like really strong, really decent. Every time you make plays like this, where you just look to go help your team rather than helping yourself, it's kind of setting yourself behind. So, like, you need to get in the mindset of, like, helping yourself. So, like, this roam, this is a good roam. I like this roam. Do you know why I like this roam? You pushed in mid first. That's, that's your biggest thing, man. So now Kassin's, like, stuck dealing with this wave. You get a free, you know, dive right here. Okay, that's kind of troll that you got creep locked like that. Wait, did you have spin? Yeah, it's spin, right? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, you lost one wave, but like, oh, that sets up your bottom lane. And like, I like that a lot better, plus it, like you got EXP from bot lane on that room too. So that's not too bad. I'm also gonna take game sounds down a little bit. I can't hear the game sound. You can't? I mean you should be able to. Eh, whatever. My stream hears it and I feel like it's a little bit loud. Like, with my Discord should be sharing game sounds, but Discord doesn't always work like it's intended. Oh, wait, I'm starting to have flashbacks of why we lost. Mm. Yeah. I I would push this lane in, because, like, if Lee Sin didn't, like, chase you down there, like, he's probably looking bot, right? Or something? <coughs> yeah, let's go push that wave in. Yeah, that's fun. Now, Kassin's kind of doing the same thing you're doing. He's like roaming without pushing in first. So like shove this in as quickly as possible. 
And then uh, let's either press your turret or follow him on the roam. But you gotta push him lane first. Like, this goes for top lane, too. Like, you wouldn't just, like, leave the wave and roam middle, right? Like, without pushing in the wave? Like, you, you would always push his wave in, right? Yeah. I feel like he got maybe a different mentality for mid or something. I think my mentality for mid is to roam a lot. Yeah, and it should be. But, like, you gotta do it efficiently. So your bot lane's taken over mid. This is a you know, perfectly reasonable transition. Puts you in the side lane. That's great. I think I actually told them to do that. They would just keep pushing bot, and the Jin wanted to give up or something like that. Okay, yeah, this one. Oof. Mm, can you have killed her? Just not confident as AP, I guess. I mean, when you're fighting right here, right, I feel like it's a good spot to fight. But when would be a good time to turn on a Vayne? I'm thinking after Condemn, but if she didn't Condemn the whole time? Mm, well, one, like, I mean, you have both Psalms, so you just, like, use both Psalms on her. Like, I would, I would use the Fog of War between here and here to, like, go ahead and turn on her. Because she won't here? see you, yeah, she won't see you until she turns the corner. Let me show you her vision. So, like, when she goes here, she won't be able to see you until you sh she fully turns the corner. You see right here, and you turn on her. And then, like, when she tumbles to the side, like, you spin to the side with her. That way she doesn't wall, like, wall bang you. So let me show you what this looks like from her angle. I'll show you the Fog of War you said she should use. Right here. Like, you see that, man? Like, if you're right there, you turn on her. Like, you get melee range without using her spin. That's perfect. Like, you got your Nash or Spike, man. And you got CDR boots, too. Like, you're in a very good spot. Like, you 100% could have taken that. Like, and especially, like, you got, like, both sums too. And ulti. And uh, your conqueror was ready to go because she was putting you in combat. So, like, Fury doesn't matter as much on AP Trend. Because, I mean, your damage is going to be coming from your spins, right? And the on hit from your from your Nasher's Tooth. So, like, getting crits yeah, is kind of like a bonus. Oh, yeah, 100% can kill her. You probably didn't know, mm -hmm. but she had no sums as well, so... And, like, I feel like her ult was almost over at that point, because she was chasing for a while, right? When he could turn the corner. Does it last, what, eight seconds or something? I'm actually curious, how long does it last? Uh, yeah, eight seconds. I think the saddest part was this game I remember was actually winnable. I mean, let's be honest, this is like Mint Diamond OC, of course it's winnable. You should be winning like, probably like 90% solo. Eh, worth. I mean, maybe not in the grand scope of things, but... I mean, I'd be happy I ran the cast him down. It's about sending a message. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I would try to go against this uh, Malkai. He's full MR. So, like, maybe instead of, like, 
swapping you like into the bot lane against uh against like Kastin or like the the Vayne Zara combo. Maybe just swap you into the Maokai matchup. And you know, since you're AP, maybe they think you deal uh magic damage or something. I don't know. If they're silly. AP trend does about 10% magic damage, 90% physical. Hey, you could have killed it right there. Why'd you back off that that uh, Ulrin? Because you have, you got the crit, so you got the reset, right? So you spun into the vein. She, you know, she tumbled your uh, your spin, but then you got the crit, so your spins instantly back up. You know, because the build's busted. You know, you could just spun right back on her, right? Yeah. But I think she'll flash. Okay. Yeah, and and then you turn on her then. Oh. And then you fog bolt. I I mean, I just, you know, you you got the you got the crit like spin back on him. I feel like you're just not looking for these duels on her. And like your W was probably almost up too. Like your W has a, I think a seven second cooldown. Yeah, seven point seven seconds. Like you spin on her again, and like when she flashes, you get a W, get on her. Like any time now, you could just spin her. Like she tumbled towards you, and uh, I mean you have ulti. She has no condemn. She has no flash. Uh, that Maka is full MR against two magic damage dealing champions. He's healing off of them. That's pretty funny. <coughs> mm, we saw Kassen running from that ward. I think you can kill them both, to be honest, though. Oh, uh, Envane? Well, that's unfortunate. Nice. Not bad. Picked up a kill. Sacrifice Fiddle for it. That would be great and good. I really feel like you should should like swap into Naka lane like as quickly as possible. Even if it's like 2v1. Oh. Ah, that's fine. I mean you're gonna shred this Naka. And by shred you're gonna be dealing a decent amount of damage because he still has 3k HP. Uh, you can fight Kassim here, too. Because you still have ult. Alright, can you get your Conquer ready to go? You got a level on him? I'd fight him here. 100%. I mean, uh, Kassim went Merc Treads. He thinks he deal, uh, magic damage. Maybe he was building it for Fiddle. Yeah, maybe. You never know, man. I would like to think that, uh... 
everyone would like to build tabbies against trend. And if you don't build tabbies against trend, you're like not respecting his damage. Yeah, I mean this guy has like no armor. I mean look how much you just crushed him there. I think you're in the mindset that like if you have no fury you can't fight. That's not true. Like the damage comes from you having conquer, not necessarily you having fury. Because you don't need uh You don't really need crits, you're not reliant on it. That's bad. Oh yeah. This one was hmm. It's full of fog golds. I mean, I've I've gotten games like that before, where I just like can't hit mole. It feels bad, man. I guess that like I feel like if you miss one ult, you're gonna miss like the next three. So, so it, <laughs> pretty it, much. It's no like the whole game. Yeah. Teammates will start saying these things and ping your ult, and then it'll get even worse. Eh, I don't get affected by my teammates, but it's just like I'm just like. Right oh. away, but then it's in the back of my mind anyway, and. Oh, is I don't it? know. Damn. I think actually what I do to counteract that, which is a really bad way of doing it, is just to ult a bit earlier than I normally would. And that ends up wasting a lot of ults. But that's when I get tilted. Yeah. I'm drink some water. I mean, you got vision on Baron. Mm, I think your team's looking to pressure something, right? You got cast on top. I think you should be looking to uh, duel this vein. Because again, you got both sums. And, uh, I'm, damn, she's the same level as you know. Mm, I, I feel like you spend a lot of time just like roaming around. Or maybe she's been taking a lot of sideways farm. Either way. Mm, what was your thoughts on not spinning on that? I was thinking that Vayne's gonna rotate up and I'll take a while to catch him. I don't know why I'm just deathly afraid of Vayne. Too much AD trend. I mean, I thought with AD trend, like you like two shot or two. Point. You're never gonna win games if you don't look to duel. That's that's the only way I'm gonna say it. Like, if their answer to to you is the same vein against you, you need to find a way to fight her and beat her, especially if you have a lead. I I, th I think that's like the the number one thing I can say. Like, obviously, you know, maybe your gen could be not be two and ten, but like, the the number one thing for you, you, you need to. You need to find a way to duel against the person you send after you. Whether it's like you, you maybe you itemize a little bit differently for that particular game. Like, hey, like when I play against like Fizz, and I know I'm gonna be dueling against Fizz like game, it's like that that Merc's Banshee. They can't they can't touch me. Same with like Rise. Zed, Tabby's on you. Like that's the way I like situationally itemize versus the person I'm gonna duel against. So like if you feel like you need armor against Vayne, I mean, I mean, she kind of does true damage anyways, but uh, maybe, like, honestly, Banshee Veil could be good against Vayne, too. Think about it. The only way Vayne can get rid of your spell shield is how? Is her E. Is her E. And she can't E you away, she dies. It's the same thing about the Singe matchup. Like, if you build uh, Banshee Veil, if you get, like, Tabby, Banshee Veil versus Vayne, she can't eat away. 
Same with in Singe, like you get Banshee Vogue against Singe, he can't flank you because the only thing that can get away get rid of the spell shield is the the stack shift get rid of it. A good point. I don't. I, I actually don't know. I know Blade the Ring King, like you can use it. I don't think so, man. I don't, I don't think no. Stack shift for sure doesn't break it. Like I'm like ninety five percent confident. But yeah, like, j just try to think of creative ways to, like, like, you know you're going to be doing against, like, you know, Vayne, right? The Banshee Veil is also good against Gaston, too. Hmm, let's this fight. So you get back to base. You should have spun Flash onto the Zyra. Ooh, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, you should have spun Flash into kill Zyra. Like, and you would have killed it before she even got her ult combo off and, you know, and her root. Not this part. Feels bad. I mean, you you were just trying to W slow to try to help your team catch up, right? And then your team didn't walk up because you know Heimer's pretty low too. Yeah. And then Morganas, you know, she's you know kind of useless. Yeah, I thought they were going to be closer, but they didn't even walk up. No, they they shouldn't have walked up either. I don't think. I I think they should just you should just back off that situation. Okay, I think now you're thinking about the Banshee though, right? I mean, that's what Blossom One Magic Mantle doesn't do. So. Like, you should be thinking about these things, like, from laning phase. Like, how you want to itemize. Like, if you're gonna do, like, the CDR Boots Rush, like, you should. Like, you should know that you're gonna have to, like, basically stick with it. And you don't really lose anything by just going to the Codex instead of, C like, CDR boots. It's like a 300 gold difference for 10% CDR. But then you also get the, the AP. That's bad. Alright, man. I feel like from these two games, I feel like you could take a lot from it. So, uh, let's go ahead and recap, like, from these two games, like, what we've learned the most. Number one, you do way too much just, like, roaming around the map instead of looking to pressure your lane. Number, that's your number one thing. Like, you didn't prioritize resources. You prioritize, like, looking for fights over resources. I think that's going to be your, your number one problem. You fix this. You can be way more impactful in games. Number two, you need to look to duel your opponent and fight your opponent or find ways to outplay your opponent. You can't play Trinmere and be afraid of duels against certain champs. Like sometimes, like I understand if the case is you can't win a duel versus a champion. That's the difference. Like say like, you're level 12, and you're against a Jace who's level 15. You're not going to win that. But if you're against a Vayne who is lower level than you, and you had both sums, and she had no sums, like, got to be looking to fight. So, like, you, you need to be looking... Because if you win that fight against Vayne, that puts so much pressure on the rest of the map. But this Vayne is handling you confidently. You're not going to be pulling pressure from Lee Sin... Or anyone else on their team. And if your team is beating, well, shit, you're out of luck. 
So you need to be able to pull that pressure to make multiple people come onto you. And, uh, I mean, we had a, we had a couple laning mistakes against Jace. I'm assuming you just, like, were tilted from, like, your ping or whatever. Where, um, you were going for CS that you shouldn't have. Like, you went for, like, one CS worth of, like, you know, gold. Where you could have stayed in EXP range and gotten it. You didn't have to go for one CS gold, where you could just farm it in a turret instead. Where, uh, you went up and you took that mini of the, uh, CS and gold and got, like, chunked a half elf for it. And then she can dive you. So, I mean, just kind of understand your limits as far as, like, what CS you, you can cannot get. And, uh, don't get baited by your noob-ass challenger jungler. Like, he shouldn't be, like, spam ganking a Jace like that. <coughs> like, Trimmer just can't set up ganks to, like, level 4. Like, he needs to give you a little bit of time. Like, the only way, like, the gank works is if he basically solo kills him. With, you maybe, like, to help from your ignite. That's it. Alright, man, did you have any last minute questions? Like, mm. Anything else that you want, like, you want to know from me, or, like... I can't think of anything at the moment. Alright, man, like, uh... I I'm glad you you came on my stream, man, and that, like, uh... You shared with us, like, these replays, so that everyone can learn, not just, you know, not just, like... Us too. Like, uh, we all got to learn from replay, so really appreciate you and uh, the time you spent with us on the stream. And uh, I hope you have a, a very good day, sir. Alrighty. Uh, thank you so much for having me as well. I really appreciate it. No problem. And I don't know if this would be something that you want to put on YouTube, but, like, if you wanted to, like, you're more than welcome to use any of the footage from the stream um, to upload to your YouTube. Like, I don't know if you if you want to do that, if that's like how you, you want to play for YouTube. I, I personally think your viewers would learn a lot from it and be like a humbling experience too. But that's up to you, man. Anyways, yeah, I'd so, have to stop sharing the footage and edit it down if I do. Alright, sure. man. Well, uh, I'm. Alright, guys. Alright, see you later, JC. I'm going to end stream here, I think. Alright, thank you for having me. No problem, peace. Alright guys, I think I'm done. Uh, you never stood a chance.